Okay, YouTube is born here, kid. And, uh, so, uh, um, we're at my house today, and, uh, in my garage, I used to have some model trains on this table here. Uh, the garage is kind of a mess. We just had a Halloween party and everything, but, uh, so we're actually making a 1-200 scale airport on this 4x8 piece of plywood where my HO scale trains used to be. I'm not sure if I ever made a video about those, but, um, Kingman09 is here today. He's helping me work on it. And this is our main design, we're thinking. So we'll do just, it's kind of going to be like his, like, if you've seen his video. Do the runway here. I already measured out what degrees is that. And it's surprisingly 36 and 18, so 360 degrees and then 180 degrees. And then the taxiway is going to come out pretty far, actually, so we don't know if we'll do a terminal, like, at the end. We might not have enough room. We might just put one in the corner, like, over there. But, uh, yeah, so that's our main design. We're just uh, laying out the designs for the runway here. I already did that. We're um, taping out the taxiways, so it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, here's my old terminal that I use. And uh, I only have two planes. Oh, yeah, here's a Sacramento Airport diagram. Blueprints. Pretty cool. But, um, so I just have these two planes. I have a YS-11 and then a DC-3. But I do have a 1-200 scale uh, JetBlue A320 coming in the mail. So I'm pretty excited. It's going to be my first order from AirlineMuseum.com. I'd recommend you go there. It's a really good website. And they got some, they got some great deals on uh, Hogan Wing aircraft. So, so yeah. So uh, we'll get working on this, and I'll show you what right, it looks like. So um, we moved the table outside, and uh, so uh, we could spray paint it, and we did as a runway. It kind of seeped through the tape a little, but we're gonna fix that. There's our taxiway runway here. Uh, it probably wasn't the best video with spray paint. It would probably look like a lot better with uh, just regular paint, but we didn't have any, so. Okay, so, uh, wow, it's really hard to see in the camera, but uh, we, we painted this green around the runway. I to miss some spots that we'll have to paint black. But, yeah, it's got... It's supposed to represent grass. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got so far. And uh, Joey here just put some planes on the runway. Hello. So, uh, this has about, I don't know, it's like a six inch wingspan, maybe. So, it's kind of small on the runway. I think the but A380 is like that. Yeah, the A380 is going to be bigger wingspan than okay, the runway. So, uh, now we, um, Painted this side gray. It's like a light gray cementish color. Um, so yeah, here's the runway in the grass. And our taxiways. I'm gonna continue the taxiways with like uh, I don't know if I'll outline it, but I'll put like a line down the middle where they'll taxi to and stuff. And uh, so we're not exactly sure what the design's gonna be over there yet, but um, yeah. And these are all just house paints that I had, like these bare premium or whatever that I had laying around the house. And uh, this was actually my idea first, not Kangman 09's. He did it first because he had his table out, but uh, you know, I gave him the idea. But uh, so yeah, uh, here's my YS11 prop jet. You can see it's pretty small airplane. This is a four by eight foot piece of plywood. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this to be done. That's probably all I'm gonna do tonight. Maybe Kangman 09 can come over tomorrow and we'll think of a taxiway design. Has my DC-30 on the runway. Looks pretty small, but. So yeah, that's that. It's uh, about. 7.30, it's dark outside now, but, 
Yep, so that's that. And hoping on making more progress on it. So, um. Hey, YouTube, it's Bunny Head Kid. And, um. Uh, yeah, so this is another part of my airport. It's been a couple days. But, um. So here's my airport so far. Been working pretty hard on it. Uh, so, yeah, I did the four bars on the end. That was kind of hard. I messed up a couple times. And I did the stripes. So about six, seven stripes on there. And then uh, four bars on this side. So all I have to do really left on the runway is just put the numbers on, which is going to be 18 and 36. Not sure how to do that yet. Kingman09 is trying to explain to me how he did it. He, like, got the numbers, or printed out, and cut it out, like, the inside of them somehow, and then painted inside, but I can't really find the numbers online that I'm looking for, so. And then there's the exit. It's got the grass, and I just painted the taxiways on. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to paint the taxiway, like, out to here yet. Not sure about that. And then, so, yeah. Got one going off there. And then one's going here. You can go that way. I'll probably add something on the end of there that'll go, like, that way or that way, maybe. I'm not sure yet. And then here's the other exit. And it goes like that. So, so yeah. Uh, so, only the real major things, I guess. I have to just uh, put this out here. Or maybe, I'm not sure. And I just have to put the runway numbers on. And uh, I guess that's pretty much... Oh yeah, and then I uh, have to get some Christmas lights and drill some holes. So, uh, yeah. But it's getting pretty close here, so... And I might... I think I might put like a little terminal like Joey did on the end over there. And like make a taxi over there. And I can put my A320 there or something. But, uh, yeah. So... Yeah, that's that. New one two hundred scale airport. Okay, so um, I found out I'm not gonna do it Joey's way because I can't find the uh find the right numbers. I found these, but not really the style I kind of wanted. I printed out a thirty six two over there. But uh, so I just did it my own way. I took some tape. And I just covered it up and made some numbers, so I'm going to paint this part white. It's going to be 1, and then 8. Hoping it's going to work out. So that's runway 18, and then uh, this is going to be 3, 6. You can see this one, there's a 3, there's a 6. And I'm just going to paint that white. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that it's going to work out. So, bye. I'm sad because uh, I kind of messed up my numbers, but uh, I did the one eight. It's kind of far apart, so that's not very good. And then I come over here and my thirty six is all messed up. It's it's all gimpy and stuff. I don't I don't remember making it that tall and stuff. But uh, nope, nope, Poppy, Poppy, no, Poppy. He's a silly puppy with a Halloween bandana. Nice butt, buddy. <laughs> but see, so yeah, I'm gonna let that dry. Uh oh, oh, the planes are gonna collide. Look out! Woo! Okay, so uh, what I did, I had this gimpy six here, and now I fixed it. So it still doesn't look the best, but it definitely looks better than it was. It was up there, you can see where the wet paint is. It went up there, and it looked kind of stupid. So what I did. I just blacked out that with some black paint. I don't see it, but down here maybe. And then, uh, yeah, and then I just covered up this part with black paint. Ah, it's still wet. But, so yeah. This looks a little bit better now. So, yep, we got runway 3, 6, and 1, 8. So now, my runway is basically done. And I think my taxiways are done for now. Not quite sure yet. I might adjust them according to what my A320 needs when it's coming in the mail. And uh, so, yeah, all we have to do now, really, for now, is just, you know, drill the holes and put the lights. But I'm probably not going to be able to do that today. 
so uh, so that's that and uh, I'll play with it tonight. So uh, boy, guys.